Happy Monday, piggies! And what better way to start the week off than with a bit of cage cleaning? I know there's a lot of cage cleaning in my vlogs, but let's face it, it's the reality of honing guinea pigs. And then we'll have a bit of an update on how everyone is doing, Phoebe included, who did have a bit of a rough weekend, bless her, she's there hiding away in the wooden arch. And I thought we would just take you along with this week's activities, so let's get started with this cage. Say hello. Look at this rebellious activity going on under the desk. Honestly, Phoebe. Why can't they all be good like you? You've got to hide in the shadows and lurk and poop. It's always like hunt the poops after the guinea pigs have been out, but this is only because I had all stuff down on the floor here. This wouldn't happen normally unless your guinea pigs have access to somewhere that's kind of a bit darker and a bit cosier and kind of screaming out for poops. Bless him, look, Nacho has gone straight in there for a little lie down. Meanwhile over here we've got Callie enjoying some hay. Roxy was literally just here grooming herself, but she's now just a lump under the hammock. Has Nacho left that empty for you? Are you gonna go in there? So as for a little update on Phoebe here, she has recently lost some weight and she was feeling a bit under the weather over the weekend so I'm thinking that another vet visit is in order and probably it's something to do with her ongoing bladder problems. I know that she's most likely got a bladder stone that she hasn't been able to pass so we may try and get an x-ray done if possible. Just trying desperately at the moment to stay on top of washing which can be hard at times. <laughs> There's a lot. And I'll probably have two loads here because the liner goes in on its own and then all of the pads will go in another one. Okay, something that I wanted to try and that the piggies were obviously trying to eat when they were out for floor time is this sample hay pack from the Happy Hay Company. Now, I do usually order, always order my Timothy Hay from Haybox. However, I am aware of the Happy Hay Company. They seem like an awesome company and they do um, a greater variety of hays as well. So I thought, you know what? Let's order the sample and perhaps it will get Phoebe interested in eating some more hay. Although she really has perked up for this video actually. Oh, look at these piggies! Timothy hay, meadow hay, crow hay, which I think is like their posh variety, Timothy soft mix, and also orchard hay. Some orchard hay, so nice! Kelly is trying the posh crow hay. There goes <laughs> There goes Phoebe with the bag of posh hay. Hi guys! So I did end up ringing the vets yesterday and luckily we got an appointment for today with the vet that I asked for as well so I'm really happy about that and she has perked up a bit more but I know that she's still very sensitive down there in her bladder when I'm helping her go to the toilet so I definitely know something's not right and I don't want her to be in pain or anything. So fingers crossed today goes well. Hi guys! So we had the vet visit. Phoebe's here behind me. She was behind me. Toddling over there to the water bottle because now she wants to be drinking while I'm talking. <laughs> I will let her drink while I talk. <laughs> so it did confirm what I feared, unfortunately. So Phoebe has a big bladder stone and the only way to remove it is surgery. And even though it is going to be high risk for her, we can't really carry on like we are because she's just not comfortable, even with added pain medications. We are going to go for the surgery. Um, I think as well we might bring it forward so it is this week which is all just sort of happening very fast i've got to kind of prepare myself for the worst and hope for the best at the same time
went in for her surgery on Thursday as planned and I posted about it on Wednesday night and just the sheer level of kindness and support shown by everyone absolutely blew us away. Not only that, but a lot of you actually donated towards the operation as well. This was honestly such a massive help to us because Phoebe is not covered under our insurance for anything related to her bladder anymore. The total amount was in the 900s and you helped us pay for over half of this so I am so incredibly grateful for that. The vets were concerned about the surgery being high risk and we still have the recovery ahead of us but I'm really pleased to share with you that the operation was a success, the bladder stone was removed and Phoebe is doing really well. She even started eating as soon as she woke up, bless her, and I was allowed to pick her up the same day so she could be back with the herd. Hi guys, so we are two days on. Here she is, I've just lured her into position with a cuddle cup and some hay and she is doing so well, bless her. I'm so proud of her. But oh my gosh, getting that call off the vets when I had been waiting around in Leeds for most of the day and they say that she's eating straight away after her surgery was just the best news ever. I was genuinely expecting it not to go well because the vets just made sure I was super super aware of all of the risks. They even told me as she was going into surgery, you know, they will give me a call in the operation if they find something they don't expect to. Uh, she said that this, they found tumours in bladders before, tumours forming around bladder stones and awful things like that. So no call early on was good. And then it started getting to like two and three o'clock and I was like, oh, are they gonna ring me? I need to know. And thankfully they did, but not not only that, I could pick her up the same day, which was just absolutely amazing. So when we got home, we were cuddled up on the sofa with the electric blanket on and I was just encouraging her to have some critical care because really she was only keen on grass and cucumbers, but I did manage to encourage her to have a little bit of food. And then it wasn't until yesterday evening probably that I saw she was eating some hay on her own. And I know we're not out of the woods yet, but she is doing really well. And all of this happening totally unplanned. It was meant to be just a normal week and lots of piggy fun and relaxing things and it turned into like the most stressful week ever. Um, one of the things we did have planned, which was sort of up in the air with Phoebe's operation and everything, but I think she will be more than up for it and it is, of course a bit of unboxing. So we do have another Hey Pig subscription box to open, which I'm super excited about. And I just wanna say a massive thank you to Rick and Helen at Hey Pigs for not only letting us continue to review your amazing subscription boxes, but for being super understanding with this week and basically saying prioritize Phoebe over everything else. And yeah, just thank you so much for that. So we are very excited to get into the box. And not only that, but I'm hoping it is some Something interesting and intriguing for Phoebe to explore and maybe she will find some new treats and things that she enjoys in here. Look at you eating, such a good girl. And look at this. <laughs> I think Nacho is excited about the subscription box. <laughs> Are you death napping? Scarily death napping. He actually won't wake up. <laughs> Nacho! Right, I have just done the honours and cut the sticker on the bottom. So, um, where's my audience? Excuse me, everybody. <laughs> well, Phoebe's here. That's all that matters. Hi! Let's have a look, shall we? Hoo-hoo! Okay, who have we got here? So they always include these art cards. And this month we have... Marvellous Mabel. Oh, I think it's one of their piggies. Oh, that's so cool. And as always, we've got all of the ingredients and everything. A little description of all of the products on the back. And it looks like we've got six in here. Exciting. Oh, and straight. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> First up. Oh, okay. We've got a rosewood product. We've got here rosewood naturals carotes. They have had these before and they've basically got two different flavors. I think they've got beetroot 
and uh, carrot, yeah, carrot, <laughs> carroties, carrot. Oh, I think we're going to enjoy them, aren't we? Yes, baby. Oh, bless her. Moving on to the second item here, we have these. Ooh, look at these. So we've got oat cookies, a tasty treat for small animals, purely natural ingredients, which is always nice to hear. Oat bran, banana, carrot, plantain light leaf. Good stuff like that. Good stuff for putting a bit of weight on as well. If you've got a sick piggy and like oats especially are known for helping um, piggies gain weight. So hopefully Phoebe will enjoy those. Okay, let's find out what we've got next. This one is going to be popular. I know it already. So Hey Pigs do their own brand of treats. They have the piggy nom noms in blueberry flavor and they also have them in the carrot and coriander flavor, which we've still got a few left from last time. So yeah, it's really Really nice to have both flavors on hand for them and I'm sure they are going to enjoy them. They've got vitamin C boost in as well which is good. Ooh, exciting looking stuff in the bottom here. So let's go with this bag. Oh, okay. Another sort of orange. We've got some pea flakes in there. Yummy. That looks really, really colorful. Really nice. So this is the Summer Harvest by Rosewood Naturals. And we've got a mix of herbs, fruits, vegetables, ed edible flowers, all sorts in there. I think the guinea pigs are definitely going to enjoy that. I know, we're not done yet, Phoebe. We're not done yet. Let's have a look what's next. Oh, this looks really cool. Nature's Own again. I think that's quite a cool brand. So we've got a flower halo. <laughs> it's got dried grass and mixed flower petals, rose, cornflower, sunflower. Lovely. So that is going to be in and out of the cage when we feel like nibbling on it because I can imagine them just demolishing it all in one go. And that's really big as well. That is going to last a decent amount of time. So I'm excited to use that one. And we've still got one more thing to go. Where is everybody? I think they, <laughs> they do tend to do this. They love just sitting behind the box. Sorry, Nacho. Sorry, I know. So I am excited about this because I've seen these on their website and I have been wanting one and these little jars are so cute and they do have them in all different flavors as well, I think. So we have the Hay Pig's own brand, Tasty Rainbow. We've got rose, marigold, sunflower, raspberry leaves, cornflower, mallow, beetroot. We've got all sorts in there. So that is really cool. And this kind of thing as well, you can sprinkle it in the hay. You can just pop it around the cage for them. It's really great enrichment for them because it keeps them kind of interested in their surroundings. And I'm definitely going to be keeping hold of this jar as well how cute is that it's great for putting in like all different treats and stuff after we've used up all this forage two days after having major abdominal surgery and she's loving a carroty and roxy's coming in for the steal you can't take it away, you can try it. <laughs> so snatchy. So snatchy. <laughs> The guinea pigs always enjoy everything in these subscription boxes and I love how varied they are as well. You get tasty treats but also always some form of healthy forage and enrichment with lots of natural flavours. If you want to get hold of this box or sign up for your own 3 month or 6 month subscription, I'll pop the link to the Hay Pigs website down below. They deliver to the UK, USA and Canada. And you can also use my discount code down in the description to get 10% off. So again, a massive thank you to Hay Pigs for giving us something to look forward at the end of what has been a very stressful week. And thank you again to all of you who've shown your support for Phoebe and who've donated to her operation too. I really can't say how much that means from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so, so much. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, guys, and I will keep you updated on Phoebe's recovery and progress. Fingers crossed everything goes smoothly for her. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next next one. Bye-bye!